Let's go. Thank God it's Friday, the 21st day of October 2022. And this is your live boy today. And your live boy today is telling you about hope for the faithful. So, all you need to be is one of the faithfuls, and there, hope will be there for you pronto. Let's go read the scriptures today. We'll be going to what Prophet Ezekiel wrote in chapter 11. And if you're set, Let's go as we take off from the 14th verse there. And the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, your brethren, even your brethren, your fellow exiles, the whole house of Israel, all of them are those of whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said they have gone far from the Lord to us, this land is given for a possession. Therefore say, Thus says the Lord God, Though I remove them far off among the nations, and though I scatter them among the countries, yet I have been a sanctuary to them for a while in the countries where they have gone. Therefore say, Thus says the Lord God, I will gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered. And I will give you the land of Israel. And when they come there, they will remove from it all its detestable things and all its abominations. And I will give them one heart and put on a new spirit within them. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and obey them and they shall be my people and I will be their God. But as for those whose heart goes after their detestable things and their abominations, I will requite their deeds upon their own head, says the Lord God. Then the cherubim lifted up their wings with the wheels beside them, and the glory of the Lord God of Israel was over them. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city and stood upon the mountain, which is on the east side of the city. And the Spirit lifted me up and brought me in the vision by the Spirit of God into Chaldea to the exiles. Then the vision that I had seen went up from me, and I told the exiles all the things that the Lord had showed me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every time we read the book or any part of the book of Ezekiel, I always remind you that Ezekiel was actually the man of the moment. Yes, people like Isaiah wrote of the devastation that would come upon Israel, but they wrote theirs over a hundred years before it happened. But Ezekiel was there, writing, saying this would happen, and eventually it started happening, and it happened. And as it was happening, Ezekiel was still receiving of the Lord, and he himself, now we can confirm from what he has written himself, was one of those that was also taken into exile. And they were wondering, what is this that is happening around us? And there are some of us faithfuls that you can see, O oh Lord God of Israel, so that at least we can be delivered. And that was why there was this message of hope for the faithfuls, like Ezekiel, and like a few others who remained in the way of the Lord. They were scattered all over Babylon and all over the nations of the earth, 
That's why there was one like Daniel, whom we later got to know about because of what he did, uh, uh, you know, where uh, he also was in exile. We got to know about Nehemiah. We got to know about Ezra. All of these people were in different courts and different parts of Babylon. And over this 70 year period, but there were those amongst them that were the faithful, like the ones I've given example of, like Daniel, like Ezra, like Nehemiah. And eventually, they were the ones who fulfilled this promise of restoration. They had hope as faithfuls, and God made it to happen that they were restored. And so many beautiful things started happening in their own time. In fact, parts of the promises that God made at that time, some came to be as recently as 1948 when Israel was settled completely in its own land. Some happened perhaps maybe about 30, 35 AD when the promise of the giving of the Holy Spirit and removing the heart of stone from men happened at Pentecost. So there is always hope for the faithful. So if you are amongst the faithful of this generation, in spite of all the perversion that is taking place in this generation, in spite of the fact that there are those that have made up their minds that they will be Boko Haram, they will be bandits, they will be insurgents, they will be evil people, they will... You just remain faithful and as the punishments, corporate punishments come upon the land for the evil deeds of those ones, I assure you, you will be spared in Jesus' name. Because the Bible is clear about it. Hand in hand we may be. It is the sinner that will go unpunished. And the blessings of the Lord will come upon you and will remain upon you if you are one of the faithful. So there is hope for the faithful. Are you one of the faithful? Are you in Christ? If you are not yet one of the faithful, if you are not yet in Christ, this is the time for you to also give your life so that you can be part of those that will enjoy the hope for the faithful. If you are set for that experience, just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I have been told of hope for the faithful. I also want to join the faithful. Therefore, forgive me of all my sins from today and let me have a renewed life beginning from today, one that will be in Christ, that I may be called by your name from today. I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So if you said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ. Find a Bible-believing church around you where you can also continue to receive hope for the faithful. If you happen to be in Oshobo, Ocean State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican Church of Rokia State Extension. You'll find us in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Midland High School. That will be along Onyiko and Gokyomi Bodun Drive of the Rokia State Extension. Join us every Wednesday afternoon, 5 o'clock, for our midweek services, and on Sunday either for our celebration or Holy Communion services. As you go today, say, O Lord, have mercy upon our land, and for the sake of the faithful, restore us to fullness. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. So go out today. Be bright. Be cheerful. There is hope for the faithful. If you are one of the faithful, there is hope for you. God bless you. I join you faithful. I call you faithful. I call you good.